so welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and this is Lacey. Um, this is my first video on YouTube and first vlog, so bear with me on our lighting and our editing and everything. I'm just trying to get the hang of it. Um, <laughs> me and Lacey are very excited to get started with this YouTube channel. We've been wanting to do this for a while now. And um, the main reason why I've wanted to do a YouTube channel is because throughout my pregnancy, I have been on YouTube like a crazy person following people like Aaron Williams and Tara Henderson. And um, they've helped me out so much. And uh, I just, I, I want to be that person for somebody else, hopefully. Um, maybe help a few people through their pregnancy or through motherhood or through their postpartum fitness. I filmed a vlog of us going on the airplane and um, I filmed it from beginning to end. And if you want to just go straight to that vlog, um, I will put a title down at the bottom here of the amount of time that you should just skip to and then you'll get to the, the vlog portion. But right now I'm just going to kind of go over tips and um, things that I kind of came across with my experience um, on the airplane with, with Lacey and um, things that might help you in the future. Okay, so a few tips um, when when flying that I have for you just from experience is that if you purchase a stroller bag to put the stroller in when you're um, checking it in uh, make sure it fits the stroller before you get it there I didn't check mine and my stroller is a baby jogger and it's pretty big and I got the large size stroller bag from Babies R Us and it just did not fit at all. It wasn't even close. So Hawaiian actually did have bags there. They were clear bags and they were perfect and it was huge and it fit my stroller perfectly plus everything else, the bag and um, a few other things. Um, but that was not the case on the way back when we were flying from Hawaii back to California. Um, it they did not have a bag for me so I had to check my stroller in without a bag. And so one thing I did research was being able to bring water onto the airplane because I am formula feeding Lacey now 100%. And I was able to bring a huge container of warm water onto the airplane in my carry-on and also a big thing of her uh, formula. So uh, you'll see in the video where I had to separate them out of the bag and into their own bin. Um, and what they did was they took it through the security and then they also took it off to the side with me and they used like a, a piece of paper or like a test strip and put it over the opening of my water bottle to kind of test the fumes. It doesn't go into the water at all. It just tests the fumes and then um, it tells you if it's good or not. And um, they, as long as you tell them that it's for a baby, they are, they're pretty accommodating. A tip that I got from another YouTuber is that when your baby is fussy on the plane, give your baby to your husband because people are going to... What's the matter? What's the matter? Huh? Do you want to play with your toys? Well, where was I? A tip that I got from another YouTuber is that when your baby is fussy on the plane, give the baby to your husband to kind of console and walk around the airplane because, um, you know, it is interesting to see the people's reaction when a husband or a dad has their baby as opposed to a mom having her baby. Um, they kind of expect the mom to just be able to, to have the baby be quiet and like two seconds as opposed to like a, a father who you know they're like oh cute you're you know you're holding your baby and look at that cute father over there just with the baby trying to console her poor dad airplane ride was about five and a half hours and Lacey would kind of get bored and start fussing just because she was tired of being held and so what we did was we put the tray tables open and put blankets on the tray tables and kind of made like a pallet for her to lay down and she loved it. She was able to to play on there for about an hour just being flat on the tray tables and it was awesome. I do recommend that you get an aisle seat because you're going to be up and down with the baby constantly and with changing her and consoling her and um 
the last thing you want to do is to wake up somebody and tell them that you need to get up um, every 30 minutes or so or hour. Um, and so I do recommend that. Also, too, if you're breastfeeding, it's nice to have a window seat for um, uh, privacy. But, yeah, so just if you're in a two-seater airplane, like a cross, it'd be, you know, you and your husband on the side there is nice. So you kind of just have to pick and choose your battles there. So since I was riding the airplane with my family, it was nice to kind of pass her around. She predominantly wanted to be with me, which is pretty understandable, but um, she did like a change of scenery. I would give her to my mom, and uh, she would play with her for a little bit. I'd give her to CJ, and he would play with her for a little bit, and uh, that kind of helped also. The one thing that I did read up about is the ear popping, and I really wanted to make sure that she didn't have any um, pain or the least amount of pain when we were on the airplane. And what we did was, uh, or what I found out was that if you have them suck on something on the way up and then on the way down, it is the same thing as like an adult chewing gum. So I made sure that we had a bottle ready for her when um, we took off and when we landed. And um, you can see on the first airplane ride that we took, uh, we did take two planes on the way back. Um, the first one you'll see in the video and you'll also see the second one, but I kind of just put them together because I didn't get much footage. It was kind of difficult um, making sure that she was okay and filming at the same time, and this is my first time. So um, I just kind of put the two planes together. Um, but so on the way, on the first plane, she fell asleep before we took off because there's a lot of taxiing to the uh, landing strip or the takeoff strip or I don't know what it's called. Um, and so she fell asleep and I still kind of tried to give her the bottle and she was sucking a little bit as she was kind of with her eyes closed because I wanted to make sure that her ears were still popping as she was sleeping. I don't really know how that works. But I just wanted to make sure she wasn't in any pain because I hate when my ears don't pop and so I didn't want that to happen to her. Um, and then, um, but that was the only, but that was the only time that there was any problems with her drinking on the way up or down because she was, she's pretty much always hungry so she can eat at any time, so. Look at who just woke up. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Say hi, baby. <laughs> well, I think that seems pretty obvious is to bring a changing table uh, or like a changing uh, bag. So that has like a couple diapers in there, some wipes, and the changing pad itself. Um, and like a small bag inside your carry-on. Um, because this seems to be easy to get to because when we were on the plane, it was a, it was... A hassle to have to um, get the changing pad out, get the diaper, get the wipes and everything. It just, it would be a lot easier if there was a bag that I could just grab out of there and then take to the changing table uh, for as quickly as possible because you, you don't want to be in the bathroom for very long. So in my video, I show you the bathroom in the airplane and like most of you know, if you've been on an airplane, it's pretty small. But the changing table is on the top of the toilet, and before I was a mom, I had no idea where it was at. Um, but it's it's just on on top of the toilet, and you just um, open it up, and it's actually kind of big. the The changing table itself is pretty big, so you could put a lot of stuff on there, and um, it's it's not too bad changing here. But the, the one thing that I do want to say is that not all the bathrooms on the airplane has a changing table, so. Um, Make sure you ask your flight attendant uh, where the changing table bathroom is. For me, it was the two middle ones, not not the ones on the back of the plane or in the front of the plane. One thing I do have to tell you from experience is to make sure you bring a change of clothes. And that is like motherhood 101. And for some reason, I didn't put any clothes in her uh, carry-on. And of course, when you're not prepared, it's when something like this happens and what happened was that she had a blowout right when they announced that we were going we can't eat my finger um that that we were going to uh, take off 
So we weren't able to change her, and so she was sitting in a poopy diaper the whole way up um, as we were taking off, and it was just a nightmare. And I and I was trying to keep her happy, but you know, of course, I wouldn't want to sit in my dirty diaper either. And so she was fussy, and she wasn't really eating that much. And so I was trying to get her to suck on the bottle as we were going up, and it was just crazy. And then, of course, you'll see in there. Kicking her leg. She's just being a little cranky head right now. Hey, I'm almost done. There are a lot of people with children on the airplane, so, you know, you're not alone. And don't be scared to bring your child on the airplane. I mean, it is good practice for them, and it's good for them to get out and to see... It is good for them to experience things like that. I think it kind of socializes them and makes them uh, grow. And it was it was so crazy the week that we were in Hawaii that she just grew so much. She was talking more, that she was rolling over. And um, just in a week, she made a huge change. So I'm going to turn it over to the vlog now. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my new channel. And just know that, and be on the lookout for my new video. It's going to be about us in Hawaii. And I am definitely excited to start editing it. But it might take me a little while because I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Um, and then I do plan on posting a video every week and hopefully getting up to doing twice a week depending on my editing skills. And um, I am getting, I am excited to get to know my viewers. So if you could please leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know if there's any videos that you would like to see from me or if you have any questions for me to help us get to know each other better. Um, I am just excited to go on through this journey and see where it takes me. And um, thank you for your for watching and I will see you in my next video. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we waited for.
then for the baby, there's the liquid and the formula. Yes. Going on our second airplane ride. Okay, we're gonna not cry the whole time either. Huh? He's a good baby. Yes. No crying. <laughs> Keep everybody up on the plane. Nope, we're gonna be happy today. We decided. That doesn't look like a no crying face though. No, that looks like calm before the storm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cue the button until we take off. Here is the airplane bathroom. The changing table is above the toilet, and the changing table is actually pretty big. 